All right, what's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be testing and reviewing the Golf Sub 70 699U driving iron. All right, so Golf Sub 70 sent me through this driving iron. I'm a friend with Jay Armour, who's a co-founder, and I've had him on my podcast a few times, so if you guys have checked that out, I think it's got like 100 views or so. So if you haven't seen that, link will be in the description, along with all the Golf Sub 70 social media and their website. I know they have a podcast also that they upload to Spotify and Podbean, so go check that out. But today's topic is going to be on this driving iron. Let's get right into it. So let's just get some up close footage on this club. So this is the 699U 3 iron. It also comes in a 2 iron. I got this in 19 and a half degrees and it's a Project X stiff or 6.0 sub 70 shaft there with an aligned grip on it. Um, shout out to Golf Sub 70 first of all for sending me this. Golf Sub 70 is a company that started up about a year ago they've been featured on my golf spies reviews as the most valuable um if you follow them my golf spy on instagram uh you'll see that golf sub 70 wins a lot of good value reviews for their clubs uh, or the best value um this club features a one of the hottest faces on the market it's a hollow head design they also have a full iron set of this 699 range and yeah it looks really really sleek there's a look at the sole there and then a look of the top line so when actually looking down at the ball you don't really see a lot of the back which is what i like to see in an iron um like i said i will be using this off the tee and off the ground but let's just get right in to hitting some shots and reviewing this and just talking about it um, I can set up about 230 yards away from this pin. There's a green down there. This is where I normally practice at Bolingbrook Golf Club. And yeah, let's just start hitting some shots. All right, so that first shot just got to the front of the green. The pin is a back pin up there. It's 230 yards away, so that's pretty much all I want from this club. So that probably went about 210, 215 on the fly. Obviously, if it's not as soft as it is today, that would be going farther, uh, rolling out, especially on a green. But it felt really good. It felt very forgiving. This face is nice and big. It's got a little offset in there giving you or stopping you from hitting it right. And yeah, it felt actually really, really nice. That was a bit of a mishit, uh, but still got over that front left bunker, and which is about a 215 carry. So actually, re really good shot there. Uh, super forgiving. That was a bad shot out of the toe, but it still is probably only like 15 yards offline, especially to a big green. That's really nice. Okay, now I'm interested to see how that one ends up. All right, about five yards short of the green, because I hit that about like right there on the face, and it's still on a perfect line and still just short of the green. So especially on like a part five, which is when I'd be using this off the ground, uh, it's still um, up by the green and a really good look at birdie if I can get up and down. All right, so another thing I'd love to mention about this 699U sub-70 driving iron is the sound it gives. It's not really tingy like a lot of driving irons on the market, which I like. It's a real solid thud, and it sounds like a really just solid contact and hit.
All right, so I'm a big fan of the ball flight coming off of this driving iron. It's a nice, high, penetrating ball flight. It's coming down, landing softly on the green. Part of that goes to the rain, but it's still landing on a steep descent angle, and it's very nice. I'm interested to see how it will do going low into the wind. I'm not into the wind out here, but I'm just interested to see what the ball flight's like going just kind of keeping it low, a little stinger action here. That last shot definitely released on that green. So, I mean, it's very forgiving. I've had a few miss hits here and they're still ending up five, 10 yards short of the green. But a lot of them are just getting the distances and they're not going far off line at all, which is extremely nice. Let's test this off the tee. This will be a lot of the way players use this club is off the tee. Um, if you're not hitting your driver necessarily all that straight, you can go to something like this, a nice little three iron, and really hit the fairway. All right, so let's close this thing out. So overall, I love this club. It is three iron. It's got super sweet ball flights. You can hit it nice and low too, which I really like, showing me that the workability is great on it. Um, biggest thing for me that surprised me is usually driving irons. They're supposed to be forgiving, but a lot of them are just tough to hit. I mean, a lot of them don't suit the higher handicapper's eyes. Uh, this thing was really, really easy to hit. Like get up in the air, very easy. A lot of people think that driving irons are supposed to be hit low, which they are, but I think driving irons get overlooked in the aspect that they do get up. I think, at least for me, this is more personal, but I like looking at a driving iron more than a hybrid. I just feel that it's not going to go as far left or right. I mean, overall, I love this thing. It's the super hot face on it, one of the hottest on the market. I definitely suggest going out to checking golf sub 70 go check out their website they're based in sycamore illinois if you live in illinois or anywhere close i know they give fittings for these things they have irons drivers fairwoods they're even coming out with putters now and every one of their clubs looks beautiful so all their links are in the description make sure you go check them out and as always guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day